Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a one sample proportion z-test using Python um, and the stickpad p uh, library. Now I have a separate video on if you don't want to use that library uh, so you can watch that one if you're interested. Um, this video will focus on how to uh, create or actually create the output not so much on if you should be using this test um, or perhaps you should be using a one sample binomial test the proportion z test there are two uh, versions there's the score test and a wall test the difference being about if you use the sample proportion or the expected proportion in the calculation of the variance um, I'm uh, using Jupyter Lab and the Python version is 3.9.7. I might, uh, this probably also works on higher versions. Um, I'll leave a link to this Jupyter notebook in the description below. So, uh, the wall test and the score test are the ones that we're going to be using. I, of course, need some data to show you an example on how to use it. So, I'm going to be using pandas and then its read CSV file to load in a data file called student statistics and the binary file that I'm using is gen gender because in this survey um, is an old survey where there were only male and female so there were 34 males and 12 females and it appears that there were a lot more males but are there significantly more males now using the stickpad p library I of course need to install it first um, it's available from my github account so you can't just use pip install uh, you actually have to use the whole link and then you can import it just as any other library uh, I'll abbreviate to PS which are my own initials there are two functions that are of interest the score OS and the Walt OS um, each have the same parameters so the data is a must um, which is your list or your pandas data series the codes if for example there are more than two categories you can in the data you can actually select the two you want to compare p0 is the hypothesized proportion or the expected proportion by default it's set to 0 0.5 and if you like you can use a continuity correction um, from yates at the moment is the only one for more info just put a question mark in front of the function and you get some more info on it let's have a look what it looks like we just fill out the function and only feed it the the field that we're interested in and apparently the z value the statistics is minus 3.24 and it has a p-value of 0 0.00118 so this uh, p-value is actually um, what we're interested in usually the threshold is set at 0.05 this is below that so we can speak of a significant difference the assumption is that the percentages would have been 50 50 in the population and it's significantly different for the wall test we can do the exact same thing we just use the walt function for that and then we get similar results um, and similar output um, the Yates continuity correction can also be simply used for both so you just add in CC Yates and you get those results in there right so in the other video I'll go over the other libraries or if you don't want to use any libraries um, there's there's an option to use a Poisson approximation a chi-square one um, and I'll also build one function in here as well but um, yeah that's how you can uh, do this Walt and score test uh, using the stickpad p library all right i hope this was helpful and thank you for watching